The function of an amphibious assault ship is fundamentally different from that of a normal aircraft carrier. Instead of supporting attack aircraft, its aviation facilities are mostly used to house helicopters to support forces ashore. Few countries are developing their new modern amphibious assault ships. So today, let's have a look at the list of future amphibious assault ships of the world. So firstly, we have the multi-role support ship. This is a class of amphibious ship planned for the Royal Malaysian Navy. In the early 2030s, multi-role support ships will offer the platforms to deploy littoral strike, including maritime special operations. In a broader sense, the MRSS concept may mean a more radical design for a really flexible ship with modular equipment that can be quickly modified for different missions rather than merely utilizing the same hull for multiple ships. Because it must have the infrastructure and technologies in place to handle numerous missions, the adaptable ship will inevitably be more expensive than a single-role vehicle. Up next is the TCG Anadolu. This is a multi-purpose amphibious assault ship being developed by Set of Shipyard in collaboration with Navantia for the Turkish Navy. The vessel will serve as a command center and flagship for the Turkish Navy, as well as meeting the demands and requirements of the Turkish armed forces, such as sustaining long-endurance, long-distance military warfare or humanitarian relief missions. It is the first carrier to deploy an unmanned combat aerial vehicle. Weapon systems include five Aslesen 25mm stop remote weapon systems, two Raytheon Phalanx close-in weapon system, and the rolling airframe missile surface-to-air missile system. Hizer torpedo countermeasure devices are also anticipated to be installed. Up next is the Project 23900. This is the newest class of Russian amphibious assault ships intended as a replacement for the French Mistral class. On 28 February 2021, it was reported that the shipbuilders had begun to build the hulls of two future amphibious assault ships. It was also reported that construction was going on schedule, that the displacement of each of them will be 40,000 tons. The ships will be able to carry up to four Sukhoi S-70 Akotnik B drones to perform strike missions and hypersonic Zircon missiles for target identification, according to reports. The ship will be able to transport up to 1,000 marines, 16 helicopters, and the dock chamber will accommodate up to four landing craft. Next, we have the Trieste, which is being built by Ficantieri at its shipyard in Castellamare di Stebia for the Italian Navy. It is scheduled to be put into service in June 2022. It is the largest Italian military ship constructed after World War II, and medium helicopters such as the EH-101 and NH-90, as well as Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II aircraft will be on board. Three Automalara 76 or 62 Super Rapid gun mounts, three Automalara KBA 25 80mm cannons, and several 12.7mm small caliber weapons will be installed on board the ship. The ship can also be installed with a vertical launch system to facilitate the firing of surface-to-air missiles. Lastly, we have the USS Bougainville LHA. This is an America-class amphibious assault ship currently under construction for the United States Navy. She is expected to be delivered to the US Navy in 2024. The design is based on USS Mackin Island, which is an improved version of the WASP-class amphibious assault ship. The previous America-class boats America and Tripoli both required retrofitting to bear the pressure of daily F-35B Lightning II flight operations, and Bougainville will be the first of her class to be built with a redesigned and stronger main deck. In addition, instead of the ANSPS 48G air search radar, Bougainville will have the Enterprise Air Surveillance Radar Volume Air Search Radar. And with this, the buzz is signing off for today, but don't forget to check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.